Hello there, my friends. While I got these out, I was doing a uh, demonstration of the uh, microphones on both of these. This is the JLab Go Air True Wireless. This is the JLab Go Air Pop. So here's what they look like in the boxes. The boxes look very, very similar. It's easy to get these confused. This I bought two years ago. This one I bought three weeks ago. So I've been trying them out. And uh, well, these I've tried extensively. You can see the case is a little bit bigger. You can see this, the pop, pop top. I assume that's why it says that. Uh, the lights are a little different. The lights are on the front of the case here. They're up here on this one. The earbuds themselves are a little bit uh, different in size. So this earbud is larger than this one, but not by much. You can see it's not really by much. Uh, the fit is certainly more snug with these. Um, closer in the ear canal because they are smaller. I will say this, so a couple things. Uh, the sound quality is very similar, but the volume range on this one seems to be towards the lower end. This seems to be louder. So if you're like me and you have pretty sensitive hearing, uh, you're going to want to make sure that um, you're probably going to prefer these because these have more of a range at the lower end, but they don't go as loud. These go loud. So if you're somebody that you shouldn't listen to really loud music, you're probably gonna um, gonna want to skew towards these. This will have like the thumping bass. This, uh, these will have more of a, um, a subtle uh, feel. So I kind of like these better. Uh, I have to say, the, the air, these are the pops. The pops are really, it's really hard to get the, um, sometimes it's really hard to get these out of the case. Uh, that may have something to do with my hands and the oil that my skin naturally produces, but the plastic on this is really smooth. And uh, so if that's an issue for me, I have the same issue with these skull candies. I just simply cannot get them out of the case. It's, um, it's infuriating. And I'm having the same issue with these. Now, you might want a case. I mean, you if you throw these in your gym bag, you throw them in a, uh, a place where they might get contaminated. You throw them in a coat pocket. You don't want to lose the um, the earbuds themselves. You might want the closable case. So in that case, you want the pop. But these stay in via a, um, a magnet, a couple magnets, actually. You can see the two magnets there. And they stay in pretty good. I mean, they will fall out if, if you jar them. But it takes quite a bit of force for that to happen. But if you drop them on the ground, they'll pop out. I've had that happen, uh, where I've dropped the case on the on the street and they pop out. So, you know, you, you gotta be aware of that. Also, it's pretty easy to confuse which way to put these in the case to get them to charge. Um, so that's another downfall of the JLab Go Air through wireless. The pops, you pretty much can't confuse it. There's no way you can get these in there wrong. They're just not going to fit in the case. And in fact, the case probably won't close all the way. So if that's an issue, there you go. Uh, what else do I want to say? Oh, these are uh, supposedly noise-canceling earbuds. The pops are supposedly noise-canceling. Uh, so that could be good or bad. So if you're like in a place where there's gonna be a lot of noise on public transportation or an airplane or something of that nature, you might wanna get these because these fit in the ear really well, the ear canal and they seal. It. So you're not gonna get a lot of uh, ambient noise. If you're walking or jogging or biking or doing something where you're gonna be, you know, wanna be aware of your surroundings, you might want these because you're gonna be able to hear uh, a little bit better what's going on around you while you're wearing these. Uh, I do have a voice test video that I just did, so you can see the difference there between the two of them. But from what I understand um, from phone calls that I've had, talking to other people, there is a lot of wind noise on both of these. So if you're going to be walking outside, you think you're going to be conducting a high-powered business meeting, uh, you're going to be making phone calls to your clients and that sort of thing while you're taking your morning walk, you're, you're going to annoy the heck out of your clients. You're gonna, they're going to have wind noise Uh the microphone picks up a lot of noise. Now, the different, the other difference is price. These are uh, five dollars cheaper. At least the last I looked, I think I got these for twenty, and I think these are on sale for fifteen. It's 
It's really inexpensive. I mean, like if you were going to go and buy one of those cheap pairs at five below, which I've done, you may pay five or eight dollars for them. But for just a few dollars more, you can actually get something that's uh, really good. These are really good sound quality. I really like these. I mean, obviously, they're not Bose. They're not um, professional earbuds. But they're really they're really good for the budget, I think. A lot of bang for the buck. So what's my verdict? Well, I, I've had these for a couple years. I really like them. I think these are my favorites. These I carry to work. Uh, because they do have a closable case and I'll throw them in my coat or my back pocket and I know they're not going to fall out. And if they do fall on the floor like that, they're not going to fall out. Um, one thing a lot of people have a question about is that, you know, how do you charge them? And they, they look at this little charging uh, cord on the bottom and they think, what is that? Well, it is an SU a USB. It goes right into a USB port, believe it or not. And I have videos on how to do that as well. But you're not going to lose a cord, so that's kind of cool on both models. Um, yeah, if you have any other questions, I'll address them. Just please uh, ask me. And if this had any value to you at all, please go ahead and smash the like button, and I'll see you on the next one. Thanks.